So I've been seeing these wooden candle bowls everywhere. They're super cute, but they're very expensive. And I thought, you know what? I bet I could figure out how to make that for a fraction of the cost. So I went to the thrift store and I found this long wooden bowl. This was priced at $5.99, so a great deal. So the other items you're gonna need for this project is you're gonna need some tea lights. Now you don't need this many. You probably only need about eight for this project. You're also going to need some scented wax cubes. And the one I got is the Lime Dried Linen Scent. Now, if you have an old pot that works best, this is one that I've melted candle wax in before. I'm gonna melt four of the value packs. I'm gonna use eight tea light candles. So right now I'm just going to pop them out of their metal containers. So to do that, I'm just gonna push from the bottom. And then once you get it out a little bit, you can pull on the wick. Okay, so the wax is completely melted. So now I'm going to just lightly, not as lightly, pour it into the bowl. I let the candle set up for about 15 minutes. Now it's still liquid, but it's a little bit more firm and it's not as warm. I'm gonna start by putting in my tea lights throughout the candle. Now that everything's in there and it's setting up, I'm going back through and just pulling the wicks up gently. I'm using my tweezers. Okay, so what's going on? How are we gonna fix the candle? <laughs> so when I was pouring the wax in, you guys, I got it along the edges here and like up here. So I was trying to figure out, okay, how do I fix this? So my first thought was, okay, what if I painted the wax along here? And Delaney's like, mm -hmm. not, that's, I, that would make it worse. I think putting <laughs> wax on the edges would make it way worse. I would probably totally mess it up. Delaney said we could probably leave it the way it is, but I'm going to try to add a little bit more wax really carefully around the edges to maybe fill up and meet this line. And hopefully that won't ruin what we've already done. So my tip whenever you guys are doing a candle like this is just be very, very careful when you're pouring the wax in so you don't have it splashing on the edges like I did. I'm gonna pour the extra wax into this disposable container so I have a little bit more control when I'm pouring. Okay, so I'm gonna let this set up. I feel like it's a little bit higher. We're not going to touch it until it's completely dry. <laughs> I let the candle sit for about an hour and I am super impressed with it. I think it looks great. It's not perfect, but I love it. I'm gonna light all of the wicks. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibwick DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.